Hello, Peter. Long time no see. Don't worry, no camera today. Just, yeah. just the audio recorder. <laughs> I wanna, do you want to capture all your beauty on the camera? So I thought I'd just do an audio recording. I um, I've been phoning up elders around the country, quite a few, uh, almost 200 now. And my question is to these elders: Why do you teach that Her Majesty the Queen? Rules, that's the crown of Great Britain, Northern Ireland, rules the by, by, by the power of the devil. Yeah? Page 252 of the book Revelation, the Grand Climax at Hand, says that Anglo-American power is the seventh head of the satanic wild beast. That's the American presidency and the government under the American presidency. You've got the American flag and the picture of the Statue of Liberty there. And on page 252, also at the bottom, with Anglo-American power, you have the British flag and a picture of the Houses of Parliament. Mm -hmm. And you teach that the Crown of England and the American Presidency are inspired by the devil. Mm -hmm. I find that very insulting to Her Majesty the Queen. Well, you know my response, Robert. Oh, come on. No, you can say, oh, come on. Come on, a real man stands his ground and says, you know what, I really believe what I'm teaching. I really believe what I'm teaching and I don't care, there's 250 or 500 Jehovah's Witnesses here in Plymouth. I'll stand up to you like a real man and tell you, you're teaching a load of Tommy Rot. You can't defend it, you can't prove it. And I've spoken to you Jehovah's Witnesses again and again and again. I, sp I must have spoken to Kobe's, maybe even a circuit servant. You have, is it, you have circuit servants still, don't you? Yeah, you have they, still. Well, they're not called that, but... What are they called, district servants? What does it matter? District overseers. So it's like the old slave plantation, isn't it? You know, yeah. you've got the master as the overseer with the whip, and that, 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 that's your, your, <laughs> your circuit overseer or whatever they're called. It's nonsense, mate. Become a real man. Stand up and prove. How can you prove these beliefs? Robert, your... we stand up to our faith, for our faith. All, we stand up for our faith all the time. What do you mean you're standing here? And you're talking to nobody. Yeah. It's nearly six o'clock in the evening. It's pitch dark. No one's talking to you, being ignored by everyone. You can't, yeah? <laughs> it's just, that's just funny, Robert. But, but it's, it's the yeah. same. You, you just want to talk to nobody, Peter, don't you? Do you, do you Look at what? Ben, poor old Ben, rubbing his hands. He's cold, poor lad. He's putting in his 840 hours, aren't you? He's pioneering. It's January, Robert. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. Do, uh, the, the reason I've told you I don't talk to you, but as I've done before, yes. is because all you're here to do is just tear us down. And it's very easy to do, isn't it? Because your religion cannot be proven from the Bible. You believe that Jesus Christ is Apollyon, that's a name for the devil, from the bottomless pit. That's the Insight Book, Volume 1, page 126. That's yeah. blasphemous. The idea that Jesus is the devil from the bottomless pit is blasphemy. What kind of Christian would I be if I passed you by and didn't tell you? You're, you're following a false god, you're following an idol. This American corporation, the Watchtower Bible and Track Society, does not serve God. It's a cult. Don't worry, there isn't a camera, there's just this audio recorder here on my hand. It's going to be very blank tonight, I'm afraid. Very? It's going to be a bit blank tonight, isn't it? Well, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm looking hard here in Plymouth for a real man amongst the Jehovah's Witness elder with the guts and the courage to stand up and say, Robert, I can show you that the Jehovah's Witness religion is true. I can show you from the Bible where the Trinity is false. I can show you from the Bible where no, the immortality you know, Robert, of the soul like, is false. And you can't yeah. do that. Well, see, ben, yes. You, like, I just, it's just funny because I remember, I think it must be like three years ago now, mm. we, we used to try. We used to try and talk to you, Robert, but you, you don't listen. I don't listen. No. Or we'll try now. Robert, it's, it's past. It's done. Like, that's... Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I'm not, I, don't, I don't want to comment anymore. No, you don't want to comment? No, no. I don't, because no. it's not worth it. Where is the real man amongst you? Have you got a real yeah, man in one of yeah. your congregations here in Plymouth? Yeah, Robert, I'll can... sit down, I'll buy you a coffee or a tea, and we'll talk about the Bible. Yeah, we'll, talk about we'll, we'll discuss scripture. <sighs> I, mean, I mean, how do you feel when you walk away trailing your, your cart behind you? I mean, I mean, you must feel that, you know, I wish no, I could be I a real man. I, I wish so. I could be a real man who stands for the truths of Jehovah God. I don't feel that way at all. But you run away all the time, mate, because you, you don't stand your ground. Don't get me wrong, I don't think many of the churches are much better. 
they're a bunch of spineless, spineless uh, people, many of them. There's some genuine well, Christians among them, but... Yeah. See you later, Robert. See you. Come on, let's discuss the Bible. I'll buy you both a coffee or a tea. I've got the card on me. Let's go to a shop. I'll buy you a tea or a coffee or a chocolate. What do you want? Come on, your choice. Just hang on. Just discuss the Bible. Discuss scripture. How can Jesus be Apollyon? That's the name for the devil from the bottom of the spit. What kind of Christian would I be if I passed you by and didn't, didn't tell you that you're teaching idolatry? Christ is not Apollyon. That's a name for the devil from the bottom of the spit. You even used to teach that in your book, The Finished Mystery, page 159. I, I know exactly what you, it is. You, you, you taught that Apollyon was a name for the devil. But then in 1969, you changed. You said that in a book called Then is Finished the Mystery of God, not The Finished Mystery, a new book called Then is Finished the Mystery of God, on page 232, you taught that Ap Apollyon is now Jesus Christ. And that, that blasphemy is in your insight book, volume 1, page 126. It's your current teaching. Yeah, I know. Blasphemy. Yeah, in your opinion. You, but you, you people have the maturity of a child because you don't look like an adult real man at different points of view and stand up like a real man and look at different points of view. And then from a mature adult point of view say, well, I believe this because, because, because. I would do, but it's not worth it, Robert. I don't want an argument. What about the fact that Her Majesty the Queen, according to you, rules by the power of the devil? That's the official teaching of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. Are you saying that we disrespect Her Majesty? Yeah, of course! If you're going to say that Her Majesty rules by the power of the devil, as does every other religion on Earth, uh, sorry, every other government on Earth, and every um, religion, because page 235 of the Revelation is Grand Climax at hand, it says that every religion in Christendom and other world religions, they're all of the devil. And then I've, I've asked several Jehovah's Witness elders on the telephone, oh, what about the Watchtower? Oh, no, no, we're not of the devil. So <laughs> every religion of the, in the world is of the devil, except for Jehovah's Witnesses. That's your official teaching on your site, jw.org, on page 235 of the book, Revelation is Grand Climax. I just not going to argue with you because that's all it leads to. Because I know you believe better than you do, mate. No, you don't. You certainly don't. I don't know. And of course, you're not going to argue with me because you wouldn't want to give me a real spanking, would you? It's not a competition, Robert, which you seem to think it is. Well, it's a competition where I'm taking on all of you, all of you guys, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of Jehovah's Witness elders on the telephone across the country. I've got 230-something uh, videos here in Plymouth, me speaking to you, and none of you can defend your beliefs. None of you can stand up like a real man and defend your beliefs. You can't prove it. And I find it highly insulting that Her Majesty the Queen, a lady in her 90s who's done so much for this country, you say she rules by the power of the devil? That's kind of insulting, mate. She's a good lady who does her best. Okay, I might not agree with every policy of the British government, but she's a... Come on, she, the Queen's a good lady. She tries hard for this country and for the official position of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society to say that she rules by the power of the devil. We don't disrespect the Queen at all. If you say she rules by the power of the devil, that is disrespectful. And that is the official position of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society, mate. Isn't it? Robert, I'm not going to be drawn into an argument. Yeah, because, because you can't argue. I'm not interested in arguing. You've got the maturity of a child. You can you're, you're told it's not an insult, it's the truth, mate. You have not matured like a real man should. You're like a child. Robert, what, you're what told... You need to record all this. You're just ranting. Yes, but I've been quoting your literature to you. All right, then, do you believe that Her Majesty rules um, by the power of the devil? I'm not, I'm not no, 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 no. You don't want to be a real man either. Sorry. Hmm? I'm sorry, I'm not coming, sorry. No? It's sad, isn't it? Very sad. All right. See you later. All the best. See you later. Bye.